Welcome to the zoo. Like the view from our world-famous tram, this overview will show you the big picture so you can navigate your own way through the multimedia zoo. In this overview, we'll get acquainted with the general layout of the zoo and learn how to use the main menu map to get to any exhibit. When the overview is finished, you will be returned to the opening screen where you started from. If you need to leave the overview before it's done, you can quit at any time by pressing a key or clicking the mouse. Otherwise, just sit back and leave the driving to us. You got to this zoo overview by pressing the overview button on the opening screen. But this isn't the only button available here. The Animals Alphabetical button offers you a shortcut to the animals at the Multimedia Zoo. And the Exit button is how you quit the program. You're probably most interested in the main menu button, your ticket to the zoo. Clicking on the main menu button takes you to the main menu map. The different landscapes at the top of the map represent the world's ten different bioclimatic zones, called biomes. Along the bottom edges of the map are other locations at the zoo, including the zoo nursery and kids corner. The tour bus marks the spot where all guided tours depart from. With so many different locations to visit at the zoo, you may want a little more information before making a selection. That's why summaries are available for each location. To view a summary, position the mouse pointer over a location on the map and press the Option key. The summary displayed will give you a short description of that location and what you will see there. Once you decide where you want to go, you can navigate your way through the zoo by moving the mouse pointer over a location on the map and clicking the mouse button. For example, clicking on the tundra biome takes you to that biome's opening exhibit. Let's get acquainted with exhibits and how they work. Like the real zoo, the multimedia zoo is made up of hundreds of exhibits, like this one. Exhibits are unique places where information on a specific topic can be explored. This is the Tundra Biome Exhibit, where you can explore the Tundra Biome. You can discover what the Tundra looks like, where in the world Tundra can be found, and how plants and animals get along there. But this is only one of many exhibits you can visit in the Tundra Biome. Pressing the Next Exhibit button lets you go forward to other exhibits featuring animals native to the Tundra. Instead of stepping forward or back one exhibit at a time, you might prefer using the Exhibit Jump button to view a list of all exhibits you can visit in the current biome. From this list, you can just click on an exhibit and go there. And don't worry about getting lost. You can always tell exactly where you are by reading the location labels that appear in the upper left corner of every exhibit. See, you're in the Tundra biome at the Gray Wolf exhibit. At every exhibit, you'll want to experience all of the text, pictures, sounds, movies, and stories presented there. To view a media item, simply click on one of the media icons. All text items appear on the left, just below the text presentation window. You can page forward and back through longer text items. All audio-visual items appear on the right, just below the audio-visual presentation window. Just like the main menu map, brief summaries are available to describe the contents of every media item. With the mouse pointer positioned over a media item, press the Option key to get a pop-up summary. If you select a movie, sound, or story, you'll find that they all use similar controls. For example, you start this sound by clicking on the controller bar with buttons to play or pause. You can also click and drag the position indicator to anywhere in the sound. Even the volume is adjustable by clicking on the speaker control. If you browse through all the featured media items and find yourself hungry for more, then it's time to point yourself in a new direction and go exploring. Selecting either the Text Exploration button or the AV Exploration button brings up a list of exploration media items for this exhibit. The Fennec Fox is related to the Gray Wolf, so you may want to compare the two here at the Gray Wolf exhibit.
However, you may find it more exciting to view the Fennec Fox picture at its home exhibit, the Fennec Fox Exhibit. Click here if you want to link directly to the Fennec Fox Exhibit in an entirely different biome. Summaries are also available for media items in a list. With the pointer positioned over a media item's title, press the Option key. The Cancel button is always available to bring you back to the current exhibit without selecting anything. Now that you know how exhibits work, feel free to jump in and explore them in any order you like. Let's go back to the main menu map and explore some other locations at the zoo. One of the most unique places at the computer zoo is the Media Library. As the name implies, the Media Library is a place where you can research all the media items, text, pictures, sounds, movies, and stories that appear throughout the zoo. Think of it as an index to the zoo. Let's go there. Like any good library, the Media Library has been carefully organized. This opening screen to the library allows you to choose different ways to find the media items you're looking for. If you choose All Movies from the opening dialog, you will be taken to the Media Library screen where the list of all movies will be displayed on the left of the screen. Moving the pointer over a movie title and clicking the mouse selects a movie in the list. Remember that summaries are available here too. With the pointer positioned over a movie, press the Option key to get a pop-up summary. Once a media item is selected within the Media Library, you have two options for viewing it. Like exploring from an exhibit, you can either view the movie here, in the Media Library, or you can choose to go out into the zoo to the home exhibit where this movie really belongs. If you decide to go to the movie's home exhibit out in the zoo, the Go Back button at the top of the screen is always ready to bring you back to the Media Library. We'll talk more about the Go Back button when we look at the Navigation Palette. Other than the Media Library, there are a few other unique locations you will certainly want to explore, starting with the Tour Bus Stop. Selecting Tours on the main menu map takes you to this list of available tours. Summaries are available for tours, too. With the pointer positioned over a tour title, press the Option key to get a pop-up summary. Like tours at the real zoo, tours at the multimedia zoo are guided journeys through particular exhibits at the zoo. During each tour, your guide stops to point out how each exhibit fits into the theme of the tour. Tour. Stories are one of the most popular attractions at the multimedia zoo. Selecting Stories on the main menu map takes you to this list of stories. These are the same stories that you will find sprinkled into various exhibits throughout the zoo. The Story Theater allows you to quickly access the stories at the zoo without having to search for them. Summaries are available for stories. With the pointer positioned over a story title, press the Option key to get a pop-up summary. Once you find a story you like, select it with a click of the mouse. It was time to celebrate. Gordy Gorilla had been born a short time ago, only the second gorilla ever born at the San Diego Zoo. A story the fills the entire screen with pictures with and text, but there's sound, too. You can sit eat. back and enjoy the story as it's read to you, or use the control bar at the bottom of the screen to page your own way through the story. Once again, you can always use the Go Back button to quit the story and return to where you started from. If you ever get lost at the zoo or need help using one of its features, the Info Kiosk is a convenient way to get help. Selecting Info on the main menu map takes you to this list of help topics. The Info Kiosk makes parts of the overview lesson available as brief reference guides to the screens and features in the program. Of course, summaries are available here, too. With the pointer positioned over a help topic, press the Option key to get a pop-up summary. Go back will take you back to the main menu. If you haven't figured it out already, many of the tools you use on your way through the computer zoo are assembled at the top of the screen into the navigation palette. 
The usefulness of most buttons in the navigation palette is easy to grasp. The Go To Main Menu button always takes you back to the main menu, no matter where you are in the program. The Go Back button takes you to the last exhibit you visited before moving to the current one. Help brings up the Help topic most appropriate to your current location. The Media Library button whisks you to the Media Library no matter where you are in the program. Search by Keyword and Save Text require a little more explanation. Search by Keyword lets you look for media items based on keywords. Selecting Search by Keyword from the Navigation Palette brings up a key scrolling list of all possible keywords you can search for. You're welcome to scroll through the alphabetical list until you find the words you're looking for, but you don't have to. If you simply start typing the letters in the keyword you have in mind, the list will automatically jump to the location in the list where that word appears. If your word doesn't appear in the keyword list, that means media items aren't associated with that keyword. Find another word that's close, or consider looking for another word. When you search for a keyword, the computer zoo finds all text, pictures, sounds, movies, and stories that relate to your keyword, and gives them to you as a list of media items in the media library. As with any list of media items in the media library, you're free to view those items in the library, or explore the exhibit where that media item is located. Save Text lets you take text out of the zoo and into your own documents. All the text items, that includes general information notes, fact and figure sheets, endangered species information, articles, kids stuff, and tour text can be saved from this program to a separate file where they can be printed or brought into your word processor for editing. While you're viewing a text item that you would like to save to your hard disk or floppy disk, select the Save Text feature from the navigation palette at the top of the screen. That will bring up the Save Text dialog, where you can indicate the file name, drive, and folder you want to save to. Your file will be waiting for you on your hard drive or floppy disk when you leave the zoo. That's all you need to know to get started on your journey through the Multimedia Zoo. Everything else there is to know you'll pick up as you explore. Don't be afraid to wander new locations and try new features at the zoo. Like the real zoo, the charging rhinos and anything else that could be dangerous have been fenced in. So explore freely and enjoy.